18 million of you suffer with hay fever. Uh, it's a horrible thing. Uh, how do you relieve the symptoms, though? So, Dr Chris is here. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so many people that we know, everybody, you know, 18 million, so we all know somebody who, who suffers mm. from hay fever, and it's very debilitating, isn't it, when it's yeah. severe? Yeah, but, you know, the... the People who don't suffer from it, the public perception is, oh, it's just a just a cold, yeah. you know, you're sneezing, etc. But, I mean, the symptoms can be very severe. But there's two things scare me about that, two things, right? Lots of people who don't have it for most of their life, then suddenly they just seem to get it. Yeah. And the second thing is, I have four other brothers, they all have it, they all suffer really badly from it. Why have I escaped? Yeah. Well, you may be doing something right. We may come to the answer okay. <laughs> yeah. in a moment. But, you know, you've got this you know, terrible sneezing. You've got a, a blocked nose. You've got a runny nose. It's itching. The eyes are red and watering and itching. And I've had patients who've had severe itching of their palates really? and severe itching inside yeah, yeah. the ear, oh. scratching niece, the palate with yeah, a pen. My niece got it and her eyes would swell, you know, like, like she was in boxing, you know, like, like going to little slits. That's right. Horrible. And those, the pollen grains are microscopic and they get up into the sinuses mm. so you can get severe headache over mm. the sinuses. But you know, the thing is, Chris, uh, you know, anybody suffering from it, all they want to know is, can you stop it? Can you cure me? Yeah, there, there are some very effective treatments, but before getting into the really effective treatments, I mean, there are all sorts of other remedies to ease the symptoms. And, and, and some of these are quite interesting. You know, for example, curries, a very hot curry. It doesn't cure your hay fever, but the, the, the capsaicin, the peppers in there, they can actually ease the congestion in your nose. If you have a very hot curry, your nose is running and it's yeah. quite clear. Yeah. So, you know, but of course that's not lasting for a long time. Then you've got, you know, various uh, salad items and fruit items that, that contain antioxidants and bioflavonoids that have uh, anti-inflammatory properties, but really, you know, they're, they're not going to control you your symptoms. So you've got turmeric or turmeric, however people Pronounce it, and I keep reading about turmeric. Yeah. There's a lot about it at the moment of being anti inflammatory. That's right, yeah. So now, is that good? Yeah, now turmeric is anti inflammatory, but the levels you use in cooking and in a curry are not enough to have a therapeutic effect. Turmeric in capsule form, where it's condensed and highly concentrated, certainly does seem to help patients with arthritis. Okay, so yeah. what would that for hay fever then? Is uh, it inflammation of your, is it your nasal passage? Or? Yeah, well, any of the passages that, you know, the, the, the nose, the sinuses behind the eyes, the, the back of the throat. Uh, I've, I've not seen any strong evidence in terms of turmeric having an effect on it. Where have you exactly. seen strong evidence? That's what I want to know. Yeah, well, well th this is where it does get interesting. You know, stuff you can get over the counter, but before you go in into treating it, what about reducing your exposure to pollen? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wrap round shades to stop the pollen grains getting into your eyes. Really? Yeah. Um, things like um, a, a, a hay fever balm. Now, the, there's this one and there's yeah. also a nasal spray that you spray and that prevents the pollen grains getting to the mucous membranes. Are you a believer, like, I, I know a lot of people put, say, like, Vaseline in their nose. Yeah. Is that sort of thing well, effective? Well, that's where these bombs started from, but of course Vaseline at, room, at body temperature tends to liquid, liquidise it and run down, whereas the, the modern bombs do not do that. But also, when you get in from work, wash your hair or have a shower. You've got millions of pollen grains your up hair, there. Yeah, because you just think about it being in the air, yeah. not your hair. And your right. clothes, I suppose. Zoom, take, change your clothes. Take your outdoor clothes yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Change have a your shower. clothes. Yeah, yeah. And what about bathing the dog? The dog's walking around there with All millions the of pollen grains on mm. it, you know. Well, God, that means that you have to bath them every time you go out. Well, uh, I mean, you, you wouldn't have to, but certainly washing your own hair and changing clothing, right. keeping the bedroom windows closed at night because the pollen, you know, is in the air. During the air, the, the air gets warmer, the pollen grains rise. In the evening, the cool air brings the pollen ends, grains down, and, of course, the pollen count is higher in the evening. Yeah. So that's another thing you can do. Now, also, um, in terms of real treatment, you're know, going in to see your doctor, you wouldn't be impressed if he says, oh, have a curry and have some grapes, yeah. you know. Right, what, what, what's going to work? Well, the antihistamine tablets... Right, you know, one a day, right, works yeah. through the day, they're non sedating. You can buy these over the counter, stronger ones from your GP. Now, the antihistamines will not unblock your nose, so you need a nasal treatment, a nasal spray. The antihistamine nasal sprays, steroid nasal sprays, which are very effective. Can I okay? ask a question? 
I've heard people say you should start taking antihistamine before the hay fever season, the, you know, when you know I'm very affected by yeah. grass pollen. Yeah. Instead of waiting until yeah. the grass pollen season and, and getting right. hay fever, yeah. you should take them so you're building some kind of immunity. Yeah. Is that an Try old wives' From tale, past or? experience, when we are symptoms coming on, so if you're getting hay fever symptoms now, you're responding to tree pollen, right? So it's when the hour goes back, that's when you should start on your treatment of the antihistamines and the nasal spray as well so that's extremely important to anticipate I feel very concerned about mm. teenagers we've got over half a million teenagers sitting exams in the next couple of months you yeah. can't concentrate Worst you're not sleeping well yeah. you know if only exams could be moved or get yourself onto treatment yeah. if the treatment you're buying isn't working go and is see it, your in GP. this day and age is there not an injection you can get or a patch you, you can yeah, yeah I mean you can get steroid tablets for short-term use steroid injection but also there's a course of treatment called immunotherapy therapy where we're given small doses of the pollen you're allergic to yeah. and they're increasing in strength over time and then you have a one course and repeat it for the next and third year. Chris, thanks very much indeed for that. Thank it you. is a curse if oh, you suffer awful. from it. Our sympathies to you.